Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of VGU Talks and Let's Talk Games. Or particularly, let's talk about the games that were shown off at the Tokyo Game Show's Sony conference. Oh yes, I got up bright and early to watch this and I tell you what, it was really good to watch. A ton of games, a real good vibe going on from Sony and you know what? I'm really hyped. I, tr I truly am. Let me go over some of my favourite moments of the conference and let you guys know of some games that are coming your way. So first things first, let's start off with Sega and the announcement that the original Yakuza is going to be getting a remake that is now known as Yakuza Kiwami. Now this is awesome. I've loved the Yakuza series and hearing that Yakuza 1 is getting completely remastered for the PlayStation 4 and it looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. If you have never even played a Yakuza game in the past, it pretty much is kind of like a Japanese alternative to GTA, but it is so hilarious on top of how serious it's trying to be. It's just a fantastic experience. Great to see Yakuza 1 being remastered. And as an additional hint, if you get Yakuza 1, you get a demo for Yakuza 6. Yakuza Kiwami is coming out in 2015, early 2016, and the next year we are getting Yakuza 6 to go with it. That's gonna be nuts. After that, another cheeky announcement that completely took me by shock. I was literally watching it and I was like, Ooh, no, they've just done it! The King of Fighters are back. It's interesting to note that they chose Kyo to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Iori in this little 30 second trailer. I don't even know. It's like a snippet trailer. It's just so nitty and gritty and right to the point. It's great to see the King of Fighters back. I'm looking forward to seeing my boy Terry Bogard make a return. But as well as that, it's also interesting to see that the King of Fighters are actually going 3D this time around and not keeping to the sprites. I'm kind of concerned as to how Keo looks, at least for now, but I'm guessing this is very early stage in development and we'll soon see gameplay later on. I'm also on the topic of fighting games, One Piece Burning Blood. Now, there have been many One Piece games coming out recently, uh, mostly those from One Piece Pirate Warriors, which have been exceedingly good, but I've always been looking forward to having an arena fighter or a tournament fighter with One Piece characters, and we've now got it. A one-on-one -on -one fighting game with One Piece characters going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. and it's all the way up to the Dressrosa arc, in case any of you guys are actually reading the manga or checking out the anime, so don't you worry, it's all up to date. We're gonna have Luffy, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Don Flamingo, Ace versus Akainu, and we're also going to have Sabo, the third brother, coming back as well. It's going to be hella good. I'm looking forward to seeing more stuff from Burning Blood. No release date yet, so I want to hear more. Now, here's a game that really caught my attention, and I had to read up on it because I swear I have heard of it before, and I have. It is a game known as Neo. Now, Neo was originally announced back at E3 of 2005 and at TGS of 2006. However, it has been so laid back on development because it was originally supposed to come out on the PS3 that they held it back and now they've shown it again in 2015 exclusively for the PS4 and my god, this looks beautiful. It looks like it plays out like Dark Souls or Bloodborne but with a samurai shogun dude? That looks incredible! I'm really looking forward to it. There's a really interesting story behind the game that I'm probably going to go into a little bit in a separate video for you guys, but definitely keep an eye out for Neo. This might just be a game that steals the show for you in the future. Now, of course, before TGS started getting serious, we had this big thing come out about Kingdom Hearts 2.9, what is it? Was it going to include? We don't know. Guess what? It's not 2.9, it's 2.8! Because 9's apparently too pro, yo! I don't know. So Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is coming out with three things with it. You're going to get an HD version of Dream Drop Distance, which is great for anyone out there that doesn't have a 3DS. You're going to get this interesting little snippet that's going to introduce you to more details revolving around the Keyblade War before the events of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, 
which is going to be really interesting. And speaking of Birth by Sleep, we are going to be able to play that final secret scene after Aqua's story, where you're going through the fragmented world of darkness and you're fighting off some really bad darkness beasties. You're going to be able to play that in its Kingdom Hearts 3 art style glory on this disc. I'm not kidding, it's gonna happen. I don't know whether it's going to be in depth or whether it's just gonna be a glorified tech demo of what Kingdom 3 is planning to bring into the mix, but let's put it this way. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is a must have for anyone out there that at least was not able to play Dream Drop Distance. If you have it on 3DS, you might not be as interested, but it is worth getting regardless if you are a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Now the last title that really grabbed my attention with their show was a title to celebrate the Resident Evil 20th anniversary that starts next year and the game is coming along with it simply known as Resident Evil Umbrella Corp. It is a competitive shooting game where you have two squads of Umbrella soldiers going off against one another using moves inspired by zombies. And on paper, it doesn't sound too interesting, but if you see the gameplay, it looks pretty cool. I want to see more of it. I'm definitely concerned about it because, well, there's the initial concern of where are the zombies, but I'm sure there's going to be an answer to that at a later point. As well as that, I'm interested in seeing as well if there's going to be a horde mode or a co-op mode to go alongside the competitive mode. But you know what? It does look like a very interesting twist to take things with Resident Evil. I hope it does well, I hope it looks good, and you know what, I'm looking forward to potentially seeing a demo or at least a test of it at an event near us at some point. Overall ladies and gents, the show was incredible. I know I haven't covered everything, but if you do want to have a look at all the coverage that we have of the Tokyo Game Show of 2015, be sure to go to the website videogamesuncovered.com as we have all the news as it happened right there for you to enjoy. I might do a couple of talks videos in the future talking about some individual games that grab my attention and go a little bit more in depth about my thoughts on them as well as the history of them or what they could be bringing to the table. But until then ladies and gents, what are your thoughts on the Tokyo Game Show 2015 and Sony's conference? I thought it was really good, I thought it was on par if not better than the E3 conference, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll be seeing you on the other side.